here. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today I have got quite a bit to share with you. We're jam-packed. I'm going to be sharing some fall decorating ideas with you, some early fall decorating tips to kind of help transition your home from late summer into fall. I'm also going to be doing some fall shopping, sharing with you what's out at the stores, a recipe. I hope you're excited for it. I've got a lot to share with you and I personally am not ready to decorate for fall. Normally I start decorating already. I am just not ready for it yet. I am just trying to hang on to summer and I know a lot of you are probably doing the same thing. So fall decorating will start shortly, but today you're going to get a little bit of it. I'm just not going to keep the house looking that way uh, quite yet. I do want to share a couple easy tips that you can use to decorate and transition your home for early fall and stuff. And so one of the tips is to use warmer tones in your house. So if you're using a lot of blacks or stones, swap those out and use wood tones. Anything with wicker, lighter wood tones really warm up the space and they have a really nice way of making this space feel cozy and warm and inviting and still transition a little bit more into that fall season. Another easy way is to swap your rugs. Now I know not everybody's going to have a whole collection of rugs. I'm going to be actually reusing the one I used last year. I love it so much. It's got a lot of rich dark browns and I really like the cream tones that are in it as well. So it's just a different look than the like green and gray tones that I was using for summer and for spring and stuff. So you can go warmer, you can go a little bit more neutral. Um, but think about that as far as like what colors you want to use in your living space and stuff too, depending on what rug you're going to be choosing for that. Another um, thing that you can do is swap out lighter fall florals. Instead of just switching to dark florals, switch out from the green ones that I have here to something like a light maple leaf, um, some straw, um, different elements like that. Dried florals are a really great way to incorporate early fall into your decor without it feeling like you're just passing by summer because as we know summer by the end of summer things are dried out the grasses are all done and everything so that's a great representation of bringing the outdoors into your home I actually have my eye on some florals that i'm going to be using for this space um, but you won't see those in today's video i don't think so you'll have to wait for next video um, but another uh, way that you can do that is use lighter tone bases versus dark bases. I've talked about this before. Um, adding darker colors is great for fall, but it kind of transitions you into that regular fall season. And warming up, like you're using different textures and things like that through pillows and stone, um, using brass instead of like iron, that would be really pretty too. Um, so think about those elements as you're wanting to transition your home and maybe you don't want to go full board for early uh, for fall in general, then those are great um, tips just to transition your home to fall itself. Early fall decor, I would say don't use any pumpkins either. Use other elements. You could use pine cones. You can just not use any. Um, but think about that as save those pumpkins for September and October when they're really starting to come out um, and ripen, you know, as they do in nature and everything. So I'll show you how we're going to transition this entryway for fall uh, by reusing items I already have um, from the previous years and things that I'm using for summer decor that's outside, it's gonna come in. So this is a great way to swap out different items in your home. I talk a lot about that when you're gonna be buying different decor and stuff. Think about how you can use those pieces throughout the entire year. So you'll kind of see how that ends up working into my decor and just think about that. You don't have to go full on blown out if you don't want to. You can keep it very subtle. Either is just fine, do what makes you happy. If you saw the first fall video of the year, that was my last one, um, you would have seen these beautiful stems. Now, I got these off of Amazon, but I am pretty sure the ones that are at World Market are exactly the same. So you pick where you want to grab them, um, but they are just beautiful and they come in two different colors. So I got them in this kind of um, dark, purple color with a little bit of green. And the reason I'm showing you these is because this is a floral that you can really use year round. It's beautiful. It'd be beautiful during Christmas too. But I really like the green element that's in the leaves. Um, that helps keep it like a transition. Now this look is going to be a little bit darker than I would probably do right now, but it's beautiful for fall. So I'm gonna show you some ideas here. So these stems are good size. 
but because my vase is so big, um, <laughs> we'll see how they fill it up. Um, the larger opening on your vase, the more florals you're gonna need, so keep that in mind. Okay. Now, three florals in that large vase is not enough. I need to downsize it. So let me show you what I got at TJ Maxx, which I'm gonna take you there for some fall shopping in just a minute. Um, they have so many good items and they are such a great price. I got this gorgeous vase. Look at the size of this. This is over a foot tall and it was $17. Yes, and I don't know if you know, but TJ Maxx, you can order online. They have some really great deals, and I'll put up a couple boards here that have all TJ Maxx and Marshall items on it that are so good, and I have ordered from them. They do take a little bit longer. Um, they don't come like an Amazon Prime, okay? Um, so they usually take a week or two to get to you, but they package everything really well. I haven't had any problems. So isn't this gorgeous? So a way to swap, use this, the three florals. Um, you're gonna wanna measure your vase and then I just um, bend them. That way I don't have to um, break it. Look um, fuller because they're in a smaller vase that has a smaller opening as well. So this is really pretty. Um, this is very stark white. I don't know what any of the bases like this, but if you don't like the, um, the color of it painted, you can use spray paint, you can use acrylic paint, um, just rough up and prime the surface. This one is pretty rough already, so it'd be fine. It's more like a clay. So keep that in mind. Um, but see how pretty that is? I like that a lot. I'm gonna be reusing these from last year. So. Um, always repurpose if you can, especially if you still like those items, repurpose it. You don't have to get something new every year. I get items that are new because I don't need to share different things with you and what's in stock and what's not. So these are really pretty and I have three of them. You can always mix your florals. Don't ever be afraid to do that. You'll find, figure out which ones you like better together as well. Some will look really good. Some you're like, oh, that's just not, that's a no-no. So these two, are very similar to each other and they're both a form of eucalyptus. They're just different colors. And something else that you can do if you have a very large vase is you can put a smaller vase inside of it or you can put um, like tissue paper and packaging paper on the bottom to help give you some height. That works too. Very natural looking and it just adds a lot of depth to the space just changing that little bit. Now, let's swap out these. Now I could leave those, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna add some pine cones. These are just from outside, okay? Um, if you do bring them in from outside, I would suggest um, blowing them out and then also um, baking them so you don't have any bugs. Um, just so you're aware. You can get them at the store already done if you need to. But you know, I can add that in there like that. And that's really simple, subtle. And all I did was change the florals and that. This is great, an example of keeping wood tones in there. It adds a lot of warmth to the space, having that, but it's not the look that I want for right now. So let me show you what I'm gonna swap it with. Um, the other one came from the at-home store. This is Home Goods. Depth it adds, adding the darker colors because my walls are light. Now I've got in lighter ones with a lantern that I use outside. So add that one in. You have that dark metal piece, which is really pretty. We're just gonna shift a few things down here. Just with swapping out a few things and reusing what I had, besides the one florals that I got this year to share with you, I have a completely different space to look at now and it really changes the vibe of the home because I used darker colors, incorporated a couple warmer tones and stuff, and I didn't have to go out and spend a ton. So hopefully that gives you some good ideas and ways that you can decorate for fall and really for any season and don't feel like you have to go overboard. You can just add a couple simple touches, swap your decor around from the living room to the entryway outside from the porch to here and there. That's easy ways that you can do that and 
you have a whole new look for your space, which is something I really like. Now you've seen a couple of different ideas for some fall decorating. Now I'm gonna take you to the TJ Maxx and share with you all the fall decor they have out. It is so good, really well priced, and they have so many different styles and colors to choose from. I'm really impressed by this year. Even though they didn't have a ton out, they had so many goodies and let me tell you i had to practice a lot of willpower not to grab any uh because they were just so good i didn't see a ton of fall wreaths yet or anything but those will i'm sure will come out soon but there were some really good pillows and regular decor that you could use to decorate your home and give it that fun festive feel of fall when you're ready to do that so i hope you enjoy this fall shop with me at tj maxx The amount of pumpkins with the different textures and materials was so beautiful to see. And I loved all the colors that they had and they're really affordable. The sizing on these are kind of an unbeatable price. They are so good. They had some really beautiful table runners. I really like the variety. So many to choose from and pretty affordable for the sizes. I always like looking at their furniture selection because they always have good items, but the problem is sometimes finding enough. Well, some of these are sold online, so definitely check the description box. we will have those linked there for you as well. The bedding and quilts were really pretty and buying neutrals like this are great because you can layer in different colors and patterns like pillows and stuff and keep those a little bit more seasonal. But these were a great price. The packs of two were $12 to $15 a piece, which were great for each pillow. A 
have to tell me what did you think of TJ Maxx's fall decor? I thought it was really good. Let me know down in the comments. Also, you a really easy and yummy recipe that I have created for zucchini bread. It is really good and there's not a lot of junk in it, which I love. Um, and then plus it uses up a lot of zucchini because I have zucchini growing out everywhere in the garden. I only have three plants of it, but boy, they are they are doing it really really well and so you can freeze the bread after you're done making it um you can also freeze the zucchini after you shred it um try to get a lot of the moisture out and you can freeze it and then i use it throughout winter and then in springtime until my zucchini plants will start producing again i actually like to use it in banana bread too which i think i've shared with you guys um it adds a lot of moisture without adding oil and things like that in it. so yeah uh, i hope you enjoyed this recipe time to make zucchini bread um, when i make it i usually use a 13 or 14 inch zucchini it just ends because they hide underneath the leaves that turns out to be roughly five cups of shredded zucchini do not press out the moisture keep that all right then you're going to add in about a fourth cup or a third cup, pan. I don't ever measure, so it's somewhere around there, um, of oil. And then I do um, a fourth to half a cup of regular sugar and a half cup of packed brown sugar. This is the trick. It makes it so good. And then you're going to need a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of vanilla, a teaspoon of baking soda. You're going to need two teaspoons of baking powder and two um, teaspoons of cinnamon three cups of flour, and then three eggs. That's it. You mix your wet and your dry ingredients separately, then you combine them together. You're gonna put them in a loaf pan that is, I think this is a nine by four. You're gonna put that in there, and you're gonna bake um, it at 350 for 40 to 50 minutes, depending on your oven. It'll bake one giant one of this, or you can do two of these, and they'll be about half loaves. So it depends on how you like your bread. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Everything will be linked in the description box below for you. Just tap the more button right next to the arrow and I'll pop up there for you as well. But yeah, um, you can follow me on Instagram. I like to know it and my blog will have all the links to the core you've seen in today's video the best I can. And I'll have um, some things up for you for TJ Maxx as well. But yeah, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.